Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing with you guys 17 movies that you guys need to binge watch this season and that I also need to binge watch with half of them. I haven't seen them so I looked up 17 movies. I'm going to read the basic plot of the movie and you guys will have to let me know if you guys have seen these down below. But I haven't seen most of these um, so yeah let's just go ahead and get started. So my first movie that I need to watch which I used to always always watch is Snow Globe. This movie stars Christina Milan and basically from Google it says that a woman who longs to have a perfect Christmas is given a magical snow globe that transforms her into a land where every day is Christmas. And this was made, oh my god, this is old. This was made in 2007. The second movie on my list to watch this holiday season is 12 Dates of Christmas. From Google it says that a woman, woman magically experiences Christmas Eve over and over again. So if you guys have seen, I've seen this movie I think. Have you guys, you guys have seen like those basic movies whenever they go to sleep and they wake up and it's the same day and it's repeat the day over and over again? That's what this day, this day, this movie is about. Number three on my list to watch this season is Christmas Cupid. I watched this last year, I think, over and over and over again on Netflix. I think they took it off of Netflix, but from Google, once again, it says that the, the ghost of a famous starlet visits a Hollywood publicist to guide her to true love. This movie is so, so good. I just love it. And it's like kind of people like teenager, 20, low 20s age. So it's a nice movie. This was made in 2010. So it is kind of old, but honestly, I couldn't tell when I watched it. My fourth movie to watch on this list is Elf. This is a Christmas classic. If you guys have not seen this movie, where have you been? I think I've watched it a, a total of 20 times. Um, basically, it's about an in character named Buddy who is Will Ferrell and he is an elf. He used to be an elf when he was like little and he goes to New York City to find his dad. It's funny. He is like super duper weird and like what's the word? Like wonky. He's weird. It's funny. Love that movie. My fifth movie to watch on this list, I said movies because the Santa Claus like series, specifically Santa Claus 3 because that one's the newest one I believe. Um, so it has like the most, you know, I don't like watching black and white movies or bad quality movies. So basically Christmas cheer turns into holiday chaos when Scott Calvin, aka Santa, invites his in-laws for a visit and must simultaneously contend with Jack Frost's um, scheme to take over the North Pole. Scott and his family, head elf Curtis, must join forces to foil the nefarious plot. Y'all, I cannot, if you guys notice how close my room was, I cannot read without my glasses right now. But when this video was up, hopefully crossing my fingers that I would have my contacts by now. But when I'm filming this, I don't. But if I do, I probably would have a vlog, I probably would have a vlog up already of my experience of getting contacts if I have them yet. But currently I don't, so I had to turn, <laughs> I have my glasses on so I don't have my phone this close to my face. <laughs> Number six on my list that I must watch is The Christmas Card. This movie is about a soldier that is home on leave and he visits a small town and falls for a woman who wrote a well-wishing card to the troops. I don't know why, but I just love movies about military things. I think because I'm a military child, so I just love watching movies about it. So I think this one will be really well. This was released in 2006, and hopefully it's on Netflix because this one seems a really, really good one. Number seven on my list to watch this year is Home Alone. So I've seen this movie, but I don't remember it because I haven't watched it in a while. So I'm going to read what it says on Google just to be safe that I get the storyline straight. So when a bratty eight-year-old Kevin McAllister acts out the night before a family trip, Paris, his mother, makes him sleep in the attic. After the McAllisters mistakenly leave for the airport without Kevin, he awakens to an empty house and assumes his wish to have no family has come true. But his excitement sours when he realizes that two con men plan to rob the McAllister residence and that he must, and that he alone must protect the family home. I don't know when I first like was remembering this movie, I thought they were trying to kidnap him, but I think yeah, they were trying to rob his house and he had to do all these like cool little skits and stuff to make them go away basically. Number eight on my list is the Polar Express. This is a really nice one for little kids. Um, I don't remember what it's about. I was a little kid when I watched it but it's just all about Christmas y'all. You have to watch it. Number nine on this list is This Christmas starring Chris Brown. I didn't even know this movie existed. So this came out in 2007 and basically reading from Google. At holiday time family matriarch assembles her large brood for their first reunion in four years. However, family ties show signs of strain when various secrets come to light, especially concerning Marine Quad's true military status. Quentin's 
debt and teenage baby secret plan to become a singer. Number 10 on my list is the family man. Let's read what it says on here. Jack's lavish, fast-paced lifestyle changes one Christmas night when he stumbles into a grocery store to hold up and disarms the gunman. The next morning, he wakes up in bed and lying to Kate, his college sweetheart. He left an order to pursue his career and to the horrifying discovery that his former life no longer exists. As he stumbles through the alternate suburban universe, Jack finds himself at the crossroad where he must choose between his high power career and the woman he loves. And this was made in 2000. Oh my god, that movie's old. <laughs> That's 17 years old. Number 11 on this list is Last Holiday with Queen Latifah. I've never heard of this, but I like watched it. I looked it up on Google and it sounds really interesting. The discovery that she has a terminal illness prompts introverted saleswoman, Queen Latifah, to reflect on what she realizes has been an overly cautious life. So Georgia withdraws her life savings and jets off to Europe where she lives like a millionaire. A bee and passionate, Georgia, Georgia charms everybody she meets, including re-owned chef Dilder. The only one missing from her nude life is her longtime crush, Sean Matthews. And this was released in 2006. Yeah, those were 10 movies that you guys have to watch this holiday season, me included. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in another holiday-related video. Goodbye, y'all!